In this video, I'll show you how to lock and also hide formulas in an Excel worksheet. So I have a worksheet over here consisting of five columns. So as you can see, the first three columns here are values. These are entries in which users must enter a value manually. However, the last two columns, which are in green, are formulas. So the objective here is to lock all cells which contain formulas and not only lock the cells so they can't be altered, but also hide the formula, meaning that we want the Excel display to not show the formula in this section over here. And this could be done for various reasons, most importantly to prevent accidental changes and also other uh, reasons such as simplifying the user experience or perhaps for protecting intellectual property. So we want all these gray cells to be editable so the user can come and change these. However, the green cells, which are formulas, we want these to be, first of all, locked and secondly, hidden so that uh, the formula cannot be viewed. So how to do that? So the steps are very simple. The first step is to select everything in our worksheet. That is by clicking this icon in the top left hand corner and selecting everything and then right clicking and going to format cells. This page appears in which we have to go to the protection section on the top and we have to uncheck this box that says locked. And I'll explain a little bit later on why. But right now we just have to unlock everything. So we will uncheck this box, which is by default set as locked. So I uncheck the box. Now I'm going to click on OK. So everything is unlocked. So everything is editable right now. The next step is to select the columns which contain formulas. In this case, for me, it's going to be columns D and E. So these are the columns that contain formula. These are the columns in which we want them to be locked. And also we want the formulas to not be viewable in this section over here. So I'll select the columns D and E and I'll right click on those columns. And once again, I'll go to format cells. Again, the same page appears. We have to go to protection. And this time we have to check locked and we also have to check hidden. And the next step is clicking on OK. Now this has been completed, but there is still one more step. And that step consists of going to review in the ribbon and clicking on protect sheet in this section over here. Upon clicking that, this page appears prompting us for a password. Now putting a password is optional. You don't necessarily have to have a password, but I'm going to enter a password anyway to show you how it works. So I will enter a password and click on OK. It asks you to enter the password again. Once again, a password is not mandatory. You don't have to enter it, but I'm just doing it just for the sake of the example. And then we have to click on OK. So this sheet has been password protected. Let's uh, try it out. So as you can see right now, the formulas are not visible to the viewer. So as you can see, once we click in this section, which usually contains the formula, the formula is not being shown. Now the formula is still working. That is, it's still performing what it's supposed to be doing, but it's just not visible. That's the only difference. Now the users can go and change the values in columns A, B, and C. However, what they cannot do is they cannot go and change the formulas or even view the formulas. Now, just to prove that the formula is indeed working, I'm going to go ahead and make a change to one of these values. For example, let's go ahead and clear one of the rows which contain values. For example, this row, I'm going to clear the content. As you can see, the formulas have also changed. This shows that the formulas are still active, but they're only not visible and they're locked. So let's add another value here. Let's say I put hundred thousand dollars. Also put a random number for cost of goods sold, let's say 20,000 and operating expenses at say 15,000. As you can see, these formulas are updating despite the fact that the formula is not visible. And this is a very neat and handy way to not only lock the formulas, but make them invisible to the viewer. And again, this is most importantly to prevent accidental changes, but also to simplify the user experience, especially if the users don't need to see those formulas and also to perhaps protect intellectual property. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel 
and you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. See you soon.